Let's take an old pro paint ink and turn it into something cool. So in this video I made last week where I turned this old fire extinguisher into an air tank, a lot of you guys asked, because I briefly showed propane tanks, a lot of you guys asked my take on this and how you go actually about converting an old propane tank into an air tank, because obviously there's a ton more air storage in this than there is in this. And on top of that, I actually even use a bigger, this is what you would refer to as a 20 pound uh, propane tank. I actually use a 30 pound, so it's 50% yeah, bigger. I use a 30 pound propane tank as my air tank. I used to have one like this, but the thing about air tanks, you can never have big enough. So what do you need to do? Do you need to drill it? Do you need to flush with water? No, you don't need to do anything to the propane tank. It's already done. That's it. This, this propane tank, this one actually still has propane in it. It's done though. It's ready to be an air tank. Let me show you. So there's basically two different types of propane tank valves you're gonna run into. The old style, P-O-L, stands for Presto Light, or the, uh, what is this, like a QCC1, or an OPD, Overflow Protection Device, this style. So this style, generally, you connect the, uh, the coupler on the outside, your barbecue on the outside, you thread it on regularly. The old style, you actually screwed your fitting in and you reverse thread. A lot of people don't know that the new style actually still has a reverse thread coupling. Now, I prefer for these tanks to actually use the oldest style, this style, the POL style. This flows better and you can empty the propane tank easier, where this one doesn't. This one, actually, if I open it up, no propane actually comes out. This one just has air in it, but I can open it at any point and air comes out. That's one of the safety features that they upgraded with this style. So all we need is a fitting. So where do we find this fitting? Let me show you. So all we need is one of these fittings right here. This is a POL fitting. We can use a QCC1 type fitting, but I prefer this type of fitting. This flows air just a little bit better, but either one does work. So we can buy them online. They're pretty cheap. I'll put your links below, but also show you how to get them for free. Now that we've got the free barbecue home, there's really only one thing we need off of it. First, it's ours now. Barbecue works for scraps. I've got a good work for barbecue, but I don't know if I like this tape. But all we need is this little fitting right here. That's all I was looking for. As you can see, I have a nice little collection because this is how you get them right off a of barbecue. If I see a barbecue just sitting in a, a dumpster generally, I'll just go up and take my pocket knife and I'll just slice the lines and I'll just go and put them, my, this in my, uh, just throw it in the trunk of the car or something wherever I'm at because you can also reuse these regulators if yours ever goes bad. But this is what you're looking for, one that has the uh, the threads. And this right down here is just quarter NPT, the exact same thread, is, uh, is on air fitting. So we just take an 1116 socket, just put it on here, and this whole piece will just come out and we'll be left with this. That's it, two pieces, just like this. Now, the only modification we need to make to this is the hole in the center of most of these is very small. You can see on this side it's pretty large, but they put a smaller orifice in here just to help limit the flow because not that much propane needs to come out. So all you're gonna do is take a drill bit and just drill through. And this is brass, so this is super soft. It drills like butter and just drill it out. This one I drilled out max. And then all we gotta is do is grab a uh, female fitting. This is, this is the exact same thing on airline and we can just Screw it on, and now we have an adapter for a propane tank. Either style, the new OPD style or the old POL style. This will work on either one, and you just plug your airline directly into that. So all the safety people out there are wondering how much these tanks are rated for. Well, the safety blow off, so before it even reaches the tank's capacity, uh, maximum capacity, there's actually a safety blow off in the new style and the old style valve is 375 PSI. So 375 PSI, which propane will get there if you if it gets up to 160 degrees Fahrenheit or so, if it got that hot, it would actually start blowing out the back. The new style and the old style both have 375 PSI ratings. So I have my POL fitting attached to my just standard air quick release with a little Teflon tape in there. Just screw this in, tighten it down. Now a lot of times the little O-ring it's very 
common for the little o-ring to be dried out on these um not the biggest deal because we're just dealing with air uh the brass is actually soft and some of these actually didn't some of the old style didn't even come with an o-ring and you can just tighten it up against it it's not like we're dealing with gas anymore we're just dealing with air so you can just tighten it down because you're not taking this in and out anyway and just snug it up a time and generally you won't have any leaks or replace a little o-ring so how do we go about filling this tank since there's no fill port anywhere we didn't take the valve out we didn't put a straighter valve in there this we just take two fittings two male fittings one with the female end one with the male ending male end and we just screw them together teflon tape them and this is it and i just keep this piece attached directly to this at all times and we just plug one in take our compressed air on the other side and it fills when i'm done I just shut it. That's it. Now I can hook my airline directly up to that. No big deal. So now we need to address evacuating as much, evacuating all the propane residue that's left in there. Obviously, if it's this style, the POL style, you can just open the valve and everything evacuates. 99.9% .9 of everything just evacuates in there. There's just uh, remnants of zero PSI of just neutral propane just kind of floating in here. The, uh, if you have the OPD style, you actually need to screw in your fitting like this because it won't just let you open it. And then insert something like this into there and then and then you can exhaust it. This little, uh, this POL fitting depresses the little plunger in there and allows it to evacuate. But we're just going to fill it with the air, let the air out. Fill it with air, let the air out. Do that three, four times. And this thing is empty. Now, the reason why you don't need to remove the valve and fill it with water is this stuff, the uh, ethane thiol, is the the, uh, the additive they put into propane, butane, natural gas to actually give it that smell. That's It's virtually not water soluble, so you cannot get rid of the smell, even if you flush it out with water. It would just, and air doesn't really take it away. It will just always smell like propane. This tank is um, well over 10 years old. And you can still get a hint. I mean, it's just a slight hint, but you can still get a slight hint of the propane smell. There's no propane. You could not light it. I could hold a match to this. There's no propane in there, but you always get a little bit of a propane smell. But that's it. We're done. Hook this to it. Snug that up. Fill it up. Exhaust it. Fill it up. Exhaust it. That's how I make my air tanks. Thirty-two psi, and we still got air left. Had my helper empty it, so let's see if we can fill it up again with the same. I haven't refilled this white tank at all. That yeah, we're actually thirty-four, so we went over. So we did it again, and let's see if we can do it one last time. equalize at about 25 so 25 psi now if you're concerned about moisture and water and stuff like that there's a couple things you can do to combat that one is put a uh, your air compressor you should fill this up should just have a filter dryer the other thing is if you ever think that the water's in it you can actually just turn it upside down and open the valve and any water that is accumulated will blow out instead of having actually a you know a valve on the bottom of your compressor like your compressor but you guys asked to see it uh, after seeing the video on this one i did paint it blue so you can't mistake it for fire singer she says air tank i took all the fire instructions off of it so you would have no idea how to use it but if you did need a fire extinguisher thanks for watching guys hopefully you enjoy that have a good one bye get it get it Here's a big one. Ready for this? Oh, you got one.